This video is sponsored by Nisi. I recently went to Portugal to shoot a commercial as well as get some dope b-roll shots for this project. Stick to the end of the video to hear why we would definitely recommend you to check out these filters. For the last four months, it feels like I've been stuck in some kind of a loophole of consistent struggle to keep myself motivated, not getting any excitement about new opportunities, lack of energy, and I'm just not really satisfied with the direction I'm heading towards in filmmaking. I mean, everything is moving forwards. I do feel the progression, our business is growing, we're meeting new awesome people, getting crazy opportunities to work on various commercial projects, and last but not least, I have become more confident about my skills in filmmaking. But, unfortunately, I made a mistake I thought I'd never make. I let camera gear affect my work. I started thinking that without all of the gear I have, I will never be able to properly tell my stories. I can't make this shot feel dynamic without my gimbal, the opening shot needs to be a drone shot or else it won't leave the same impact, the specific lens to get that one shot or else all of the other shots won't matter, thus completely shattering my creativity, productivity and worst of all, I didn't believe in myself anymore. Drones, lenses, tripods, gimbals, all of these tools can be a big help when it comes to creating content. However, having too much gear can also impact your craft in a very bad way. It can actually demotivate you to create. It can drive the passion you have for filmmaking away from you and that is exactly what has happened to me. Having too much gear has made me fall out of love with filmmaking. Last year was very weird for me. Whilst the first three quarters of the year were fantastic, the last couple of months of 2021 were the opposite. I had a lot of changes in my life, especially with the people I chose to surround myself with. And to escape this negative energy, I decided to go to Italy to drive around Sicily a bit and soak in the views. You know, spend some time with myself, have a conversation with my own mind, hoping that maybe if I finally filmed something for myself, I would fall in love with filmmaking once again. But that ended up failing and I'm not really sure why came back home, filmed and edited a bit of commercial stuff, but I still felt like I was falling out of love with my passion. I realized that I needed to do something about it, and fast. Oh. 2022 arrives and, like always, I decided to do a spontaneous decision to go to trip around Portugal for two weeks. I promised myself not to take a lot of gear with me, but I totally overdid myself. Again. Portugal was amazing though. Usually on these kind of trips we rent a car and then try to explore as many exotic locations as possible. But this time I wanted to try a different route. We spent two weeks wandering around the two biggest cities in Portugal. Lisbon and Porto. And I think that was the best choice I have made in a while. It felt as if we did not need to rush anywhere and could even finish shooting three short commercials for a shoe company within just three days. This meant that we had a lot of free time on our hands for the rest of the stay. All of this felt different. For the first time in many months, I was excited to just film cityscapes and random locations without a specific purpose in mind. To me, this was a form of meditation. Me, myself and I, going to random places, talking to myself in my own mind, meeting new people, learning a bit about their cultures and their way of living. I felt so happy and fulfilled. Usually when we film projects abroad, it's always a rush and rarely ever there is free time for ourselves. So this experience made me feel rather peaceful about everything that is going on in my life. But you know what's the craziest thing? Without even noticing this myself, I started taking less and less equipment with me. My backpack wasn't even half full by the end of the first week when I went to explore and film by myself. The drone, tripod, gimbal, most of my lenses, all of that stayed behind because I started caring less about all the crazy shots I could get if I had taken all my equipment with me. And I simply started concentrating more on having fun, getting weird angles, playing around with the light, the shadows, the textures. Never even once the thought, I probably would have captured a better shot if I had this piece of gear with me crossed my mind and I love it. One day I even went out with just my phone to capture some shots and see how creative I can get with it. Suddenly I realized something beautiful has happened to me. I have started falling in love with filmmaking once again and I felt as cheesy as this sounds unstoppable. Mm. 
We filmmakers often worry too much about gear. I can't tell a story without my drone. Oh no, I didn't bring my tripod, I can't get my time lapses anymore. Shoot, I don't have any f1.8 lenses, my shots won't look as cinematic without that bokeh. I never thought that I'd be the one who gets stuck in this loophole, but unfortunately I did. This experience almost led me to another burnout. I wasn't having fun anymore, everything I did felt like a troublesome chore and thus I wasn't having fun anymore. But now I can finally get out of my bed with pure excitement to go out and just film something. Even if it doesn't have a specific purpose and I know I won't be using 90% of those shots, I was just just having a blast by simply being out there with my camera and, well, isn't that what it's all about? Exploring your surroundings, trying out new filmmaking techniques, meeting like-minded people, and last but not least, being inspired by your own work. By the end of the second week, I noticed a big change in myself. From carrying everything I have with me at all times, drones, gimbals, light, microphones, mini lenses in my bag, I went to just carrying my camera with one lens, an ND filter, and some spare batteries. I was no longer feeling this pressure of capturing as many different shots as possible. I was just wandering through the city and pointing my camera at anything that caught my attention. And often I would stumble upon these situations where previously I'd try and capture wide shots of the area first, then medium close-ups and maybe some telephoto shots while I'm at it. But now? I was just thinking to myself, how do I get the weirdest, most abstract shot around here and what could I do around here to make this specific location stand out from the rest of the places I've been to? No more did I feel anxious about having only a single lens in my backpack or getting the smoothest possible footage or worrying about not being able to get a drone shot and thus I was finally able to achieve inner peace with myself and I truly felt like I was finally living in the moment. Thank you so much for watching this video and we also want to give a huge shout out to Nisi for making this idea happen. I usually don't do these types of sponsored videos, but the reason why I gave these ND filters a shot is because I truly believe in this product. Not only are these ND filters true color, which is perfect for good and clean skin tones because you don't get any weird magenta or green tints, but it's also a 1 to 5 stop variable ND filter instead of the traditional 2 to 5 stops. And that actually proved to be very useful, especially during sunsets and blue hour, where sometimes filming with 12,800 ISO on my Sony A7S III I just needed to darken the scene a little bit to get that perfect exposure. So yeah, check out the links in the description below if you're interested in checking out these dope filters. All of the shots we got in Portugal were captured using this filter, so hopefully you had an amazing day today and you know the drill. Peace out.